Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Armand van Amersfoort and I just wanted to show you something that I've found out I think three years ago, but I never showed you how I did certain things. So for me, I tried to figure out, okay, how can I make a results panel, a context panel without bookmarks? So I want a collapse system that when I filter certain areas within my slicer panel, I want to show it, for example, in this bar here. In this example, I just insert some random line charts with some filters over here, with some button slices over here, just to show you what the possibilities are. So what I wanted to know is when I, for example, click on manufacture and I click on nature and Leo, you see directly that a context filter is popping up. So this filter, that results filter, show me everything that I've selected within that manufacture area. It's Leo and nature. So for example, when I go to category and I click on youth, it shows directly youth in your category over here. So when I go to the years, that is over here, this selection, I say, okay, I want three years. Yeah, it's reacting. I want three years. I say, okay, show me that three years over here. But what you also can do is say, okay, clean the manufacturer, clean the category. But when I clean my latest one, so the years, this complete area will disappear like I did right now. What I also can do is when I click on country, I say, okay, show me everything that's within Germany and in the region uh, or segment regularly and select. This is what you have over here. When I click on the reset button, everything is gone. So nothing is there and your menu is gone. So what's the magic behind this? I want to show you from my desktop version. What you see here is that, and I show you that there is no bookmark. So the trick I showed you, that is a trick without a bookmark. Just to let you know, it can be fun. It can be okay if you want to use it. So what I did first, I created, here you can see it, an area where your gray area pops up. And this is what I mean by gray. So if I select two years, this is the gray area that is popping up. That's an area, it's around here, that has a measure inside of it called background on and off. So this is the area and I have a document inside this YouTube channel that shows you how it works. It is a is filtered statement. If there is the filter city location, product segment, product product, date quarter, is one of them is selected, it will show, and this is called background in Dutch, background on, or otherwise background off. And background on its own, as you can see, is also a measure. So background is a measure, and background off is also a measure, because it's a base 64 measure like you see over here. So when I go back to my desktop here, I was in my desktop, sorry, you see that there's an area that because it's hidden, there's nothing selected. But when I select 2014, for example, you can see over here that my background, like I had here, is selected. And in that background, I already created the reset data icon. So it's not a standalone icon. No, it's an icon that is within that image because on that icon, I have a transparent button and that button leads me to an action that's called clear all slicers. Because when I clear all those slicers here, that image will disappear. And I did also with those text elements right here. And I think it's better now in 2024 to do it in a new card visual 
uh, with a row kind of style. For now, I got some text areas with the selection over there. Say, okay, what did, what did I select it? So here you see an example of that is filtered state. So here I've got that area. That area brings me to a transparent area, but when I select one of them, it says, okay, you're on, you're off. Multi-selection is also there. And on top of that, there you see the text boxes that are also conditional based on text values, selected city header. So the selected city, selected city header, like I've got over, where it is? Is there a selected city header? No. It must be, for example, this one. It's a demo, so never mind. Selected manufacture header is this one. This is a simple one. This is the code, and I also bring it into my document that shows or hides also the title. So in the end, when you publish this without any filter, you've got a collapsed menu with results inside of it. And if you reset it, there isn't a results panel. And I know this is not really the way it should go. And I know Microsoft is working on a different level of context and results bar. But for now, I think you can do amazing things with it. Just show the audience what you have filtered. Thanks for now. And if you like it, bye-bye.